How's it going everybody? Welcome to K6 Outdoors. My name's Kyle. Today we do something that's a little bit different. Yes, this is an outdoors channel. A lot of projects we do outside, tractor related things. Really a whole lot of outdoor fun. But sometimes I can't resist when I think I have something that's fun and exciting to share with you all. So today we're going to do a little 3D printing fun. Um, I've got a problem, quote unquote problem out here in the garage. Maybe it's more of an addiction than a problem. As you guys can see is a stack of DeWalt stuff here. I got DeWalt tools here, DeWalt tools there. I got a saw here. And I got a vacuum over here. I got a little bit of everything when it comes to DeWalt. And the one thing they all have in common are the 20 volt lithium ion batteries. They are all cordless tools. So what does this have anything to do with the video today? Well, with a lot of tools comes a lot of batteries. I tend to buy bare tools when they go on sale with the buy a bare tool, get a battery free. So I've got about nine batteries sitting around here. That's a lot of money in batteries for one, but two, you got to find a place to put them. And you can kind of see here behind me, I have kind of started up with a solution of sorts. Um, today we're going to be designing up a 3D printed bracket um, that we're going to make on my uh, Creality CR6 printer and uh, we're gonna design it in Creo. So the video is not gonna be super detailed as far as the modeling is concerned. I'm gonna show you how I did it, but I'm not gonna talk through the steps because, um, well, maybe that's something we can cover in another video. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead we'll design a quick bracket for this. We're gonna 3D print it off on the printer I have in the basement. We're gonna be using black PLA, and then we are going to put it on the wall and see how it works. I'm super excited about it. You can buy stuff like this on Amazon. You can buy these brackets for, you know, 20 bucks for five of them, whatever, but for like a dollar 50 ish, whatever, I don't even know. It's really cheap um, when you buy a roll of material and have the printer to be able to do this. So uh, we're gonna make a quick, simple solution and get some of the batteries and mount them on the wall here. As you can see here, I've also got a bracket for like my drill um, that I 3D printed off as well. So you can just drop stuff on the wall. Again, as free wall space I have right now, why not use it? I don't want to have to be putting another shelf up. So let's go ahead, let's design this quick and 3D print it off.
So here it is, finished. Pretty good, nice. I think it looks pretty nice. Um, I decided this is a two position part. So again, my battery off here, take it off. And then it uses this feature that slides into the tool to locate it. So you'll have it there, All right? Pretty cool. Again, these battery packs are a little bit different. Um, this may need to be sized accordingly. Um, I may have to adjust my spacing out a little bit depending upon the battery packs. Um, but I do know what I sized them for, like these bigger um, battery packs that I do have, these will sit side by side. Look at that, pretty cool. So it slides right in there. Um, how we're gonna mount on the wall, I got a couple of spots in here for the screws. We're gonna screw it right in the wall and thankfully I used OSB on the wall so I can put it anywhere and it shouldn't be a problem. Let's go ahead and bolt this on the wall and give it a test. Okay, so using a couple of the drywall screws, we're gonna throw them in here and through these holes and we're gonna use a level and make sure we keep it all level on the wall. Um, I'm gonna take this one off just so I can make sure the bottoms are level. These are brackets I already made before. I'm off another person's design and I wanted to make kind of something more for myself that I liked. So we're gonna do that there. So we're kind of close in the bottoms at least with where we're going. Go ahead and drive the left one in here and then we'll level up the rest of it. All right, let's go ahead and throw the level across the bottom here. Perfect. It's not just good, it's good enough for what we're doing. So we got our mount on the wall. Now let's go ahead and drop a couple batteries in here. These are the older style um, three amp hour batteries. Um, they've replaced, been since replaced with a smaller pack, it's lighter, but throw it on there. Looks pretty sturdy. What I like about how I design these is again, since it's a, a two piece part here, um, I can put one right next to it or below it. I mean, I can stagger them out so I can make sure that I'm uh, keeping them all together in a row. I, it's a little different than this design over here. Uh, these weren't quite as nestable. And I can easily nest these and uh, not have any problems. So batteries everywhere. All right, we got it on the wall here. I think they look pretty nice. I have no, you know, I don't think there's anything wrong with them. I may have to make a little bit of wider um, pattern here for these bigger battery packs, because since they um, decreased the size of these, um, when they started making these more compact packs, um, they got a little bit wider, which isn't a big deal. I can easily, um, easily change that in the model. You guys saw me when I did that, I basically created one side and then I mirror, patterned, it, patterned it over so I could do that. So. Um, let me know what you guys think. I think this is a pretty cool solution. In my opinion, I like to keep stuff organized as much as I can up out of the way. Things won't get damaged, won't get lost because I tell you what, if I, nothing's ever really lost. It's just misplaced in the garage. So um, at least here I can try to get more organized and make more brackets like this to mount things like, um, you know, my screw gun and stuff on the wall. I do have these toolboxes over here, but sometimes I like to keep this type of stuff real handy because this is the stuff I use the most. These uh, automated powered screwdriver doohickeys, um, they're my favorite one to use in this uh, vacuum. So let me know what you guys think. It's pretty quick, quick and method here. Um, as of right now, I don't really have plans to sell these, but if I get enough interest, I may list them on my Etsy page you guys can buy. But the biggest thing with these is not gonna be the cost of these, it's gonna be shipping because shipping's not cheap. Um, but you know, if I get enough interest, maybe I'll make some of this stuff and sell it for you guys on my Etsy page. Leave some comments below what you think, um, and maybe we'll go from there. So thanks again for stopping in today, guys. I really appreciate the views, um, and you sticking along this long in the video. I found, well, at least I thought something was a problem and I made a solution pretty quick and simple. If you've got the, uh, little bit of know-how with the computer using 3d modeling software and have a 3d printer handy. So thanks again for stopping in. Appreciate you uh, taking a look at my DeWalt addiction. Hopefully we got some more stuff coming out soon. I got some outdoor projects with the tractor we're gonna be doing. And it's starting to cool down, fall time projects are around the corner. 
Thanks again for stopping in at K6 Outdoors. My name is Kyle. I'll catch you in the next one. We'll see ya.